new effort in Tennessee to stop sexual assault and human trafficking while it's happening. Well, that News 2's Adam Mincer has details on the role the service industry will keep in play in keeping people safe while they're out to have a good time. In the fight against sexual assault at bars, Lorraine McGuire with the Sexual Assault Center sees bartenders and servers as the first line of defense. They make the most contact with the patrons in their bars and they see and interact and they you can tell when something's off. But without training, these observations might not help potential victims. That's why the Sexual Assault Center helped craft a new law adding sexual assault and human trafficking prevention training to TABC's bartender and server certification course. But instead of just not knowing what to do with that, now they can actually, they know how to intervene. Under this law, starting in 2025, all Tennessee servers and bartenders will receive training in bystander intervention, the intersection of alcohol, drugs, and sexual assault, in addition to recognizing and reporting Supporting human trafficking. Now they're an ally for people in their bar who may be in a very uncomfortable situation. And the training won't just be a one-time course. Under the new law, bartenders and servers will need to renew their license every two years rather than five. Then it starts to stick more and it starts to be implemented. So we just want it to be repetitive so then people do remember. And if they remember, the hope is rapes, assaults, and trafficking become less and less common. In Nashville, Adam Mincer, News 2. TABC training is provided by an approved list of partner organizations. Each program's curriculum is reviewed yearly, and each license costs bartenders and servers about $20.